tournaments a part of the game that a lot of people just either a don't really want to play or b are too scared to play but why should you play them well let's have a look Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today I'm going to do a video on why people should play tournaments because you know what I think they're fantastic a lot of people don't play tournaments for various reasons one maybe they're in a clan that doesn't play tournaments two maybe they don't think their skill level is good enough three maybe they're worried about coming across some of the better players in the game there are umpteen reasons as to why. And the replay you're watching at the moment was me rolling out in a Crown Valgan in a tier 10 tournament with Immol, one of the top eight teams on the EU server. And I'll be honest with you, it's quite nerve wracking to begin with, but there are some major benefits to playing in tournaments. And don't forget, it's not just tier 10 that you have to roll out in. So you're not always going to come across the big boys. What is the benefit to playing in tournaments? Well, major benefit is credits. This is the credit reward streams for a tier six tournament. And as you can see, you know, even if you don't get past tier one, you get 371,000 credits for the team. If you win, you get a lot of credits. What about tier eight? Well, if you jump into a quick tour, and these are quick tours I'm looking at first, if you win it, you get 3.2 million. If you just get past to tier one, you get half a million near as damn it, split between the team. And tier 10, obviously the rewards go up. So for credit grinding, seriously, tournaments are really, really easy credit grinders. And no one says you've got to go out in tier 10. There's tier six and tier eight. These are the uh, coin streams, and as you can see, the rewards go up even more, mainly because they are a tougher format. And this is the tier eight tour uh, for season coins, and the tier 10, obviously, it's a little bit harder. And you, however, because of that, you get more rewards. I mean, 10 million credits to, sp to, to split between a team, that's a lot of credits, guys. And it doesn't matter if you win or lose just go out there and have some fun and this is the thing about tournaments not only do you get some good credits but you get to play as a team you get to understand a bit better some of the mechanics of the game tournaments are completely different to normal gameplay because you have got it's not all about doing damage and doing kills it's about doing your job and your role on the battlefield. And it will teach you a lot of things that maybe you struggle with, even though you don't know it. So one of the things tournaments will teach you is better aiming, because a lot of people do struggle with that. And in tournaments, aiming is a major thing. And some of the reasons why these pro players are so, so good, is because they know where to aim and they know the positions to put the tanks in and they know the basics like resetting your camo or moving without being spotted which are fundamentals even for normal gameplay the other thing which you don't normally do in normal gameplay what you do in tournaments is you get to what's called hit point share or you get to move into positions where the enemy can't shoot your teammates you don't normally do that in random mode. You don't normally do that in ratings. But you do do it in tournaments. And tournaments will teach you these things. It will teach you when to push. Which you do need in a random mode. It will teach you things that you take for granted normally. Which come naturally to pro players. Now I'm not saying if you roll out in a tournament. You're going to turn into a pro player. But what I am saying is that if the more tournaments you roll out in, guys, the better, generally, your skill level will become. Because some of the things you learn in these tours will migrate very, very nicely into your normal gameplay. Now, if you're part of a clan, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing tournaments, to be perfectly honest with you. 
because as I said, you get credits even if you lose and you get to increase your skill level. What's so bad about that? Now that was a game I played the other day with um, WLV on the EU server, another really good clan. And we had a great time. Now this is a tournament I did yesterday on my Asia live stream where we just threw a bunch of people together and rolled out in tier six. And boy, did we have a barrel of laughs. I mean, it was just great fun. We weren't taking it seriously. We were just rolling out to earn some credits with the subscribers and have a bit of fun. And we all had a great time. And that is the thing. You know, you can do this yourself, guys. You don't need to be even in a clan and equip tour. I mean, you know, there are umpteen different members of umpteen different clans in this team. And, you know, we set ourselves little challenges and we just had a great time. And everybody earned credits. So you don't even have to go in with the mindset that you're being ultra, ultra serious. You can just do it to have fun with your mates. And you know what? What's the problem with that? You earn some credits, you have a giggle, you learn maybe some new skills or you get to refine the skills you already have. And at the same time, you're playing the game. Okay, it doesn't count for your stats or anything, but trust me, it does help you. So I'm a big fan of tournaments, absolutely huge fan. And I really believe that more people should play them or embrace them for the benefits they offer. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. That's been my take on tournaments and why you and everybody else should start playing them. By all means, as I said, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. Costs you nothing, puts a smile on my face, and all that jazz. Big shout out to my Patreons, who without them, these videos would be a lot harder, along with my YouTube members, who again, without them, these videos will be a lot harder. And a massive thank you to my subscribers, because without you, these videos would be pointless. So, until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know that, it really is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.